Happy Friday! How is everybody? I am sitting in carpool again. I have to find a good place to put my hand while I hold this for a while. So um, today, well actually yesterday was my one week uh, post-op and the sun is really bright today and uh, I feel great. So I said the other day that I had a really bad headache and this is what I think was happening with my really bad headache. Hey Tracy, um, I hope you're feeling better. So here's what I think was happening with my really bad headache. My eyes were clearing up. So I had to wear glasses for the last year or so we had my eyes checked and I needed glasses because I couldn't read my phone, I couldn't read my computer, I couldn't read anything without my glasses. And um, I, I could see far away but I couldn't see close up. And um, and so now I don't need them at all. It's windy out here. Um, thank you very much. I feel sweaty. I started sweating again, y'all. I haven't sweated in years, which is ridiculous. But I told John the other day, I said, I actually need deodorant again. So clearly, there's so many things in my body that was not functioning properly. Um, but so that's the other thing. I don't need my glasses. My eyes have cleared up and I haven't used my glasses in two days. And I literally had them at, with me at all times. I had a, some in my car, some in my purse, some on my desk. And I always had them on. And um, I haven't needed them at all. And I ha my headache went away. So I noticed that my head was hurting worse once I put my glasses on. And I told John, I said, I think my eyes are clearing up. It's the weirdest thing. And now I don't need them. So that's plus number one. Number two, a blessing and a curse. I've started sweating again. So, and last night he goes... You're right, you haven't sweated. So when I get really hot, I get beads of sweat right here on my lip. And he's like, you haven't done that in forever. And I said, nope, and now I am. So again, blessing and a curse, but whatever. Um, the other thing is, I have lost seven pounds in a week of inflammation. I haven't changed the way I've eaten. I cannot work out yet because he won't let me. I explained the pocket thing the other day. So I'm wearing a really tight sports bra all the time and I can't work out yet. I'm not even walking my dog and so dogs uh, I forgot we have many <laughs> but um, so I've lost seven pounds as of two days ago in inflammation and so my shirts fit normal again my jeans fit normal again I was to the point that like everything in my closet was not fitting and um, yeah it's ridiculous so I haven't weighed again um, but I haven't changed the way I've eaten and Another plus last night, which again is, you know, whatever. I'm not a huge drinker, but we tested it last night. We went to eat Mexican. I haven't been able to eat regular Mexican in years because every time it would make my hands swell, my feet swell, my stomach hurt, everything. So last night I ordered a normal meal at Mexican. Well, normal for me. I had cheese dip. Um, I drank a margarita and I feel fine today. So before what would happen was my back would hurt really bad. My skin would hurt to touch. Um, it was awful. And last night, it, it, I'm fine. Like I'm okay today. Um, I had a tiny bit of swelling in my hands and feet this morning, but I've drank a bunch of water and now it's gone and I feel good. No stomach aches, nothing from it last night. And here's the greatest thing is I'm actually hungry. So you think everybody's hungry when they're supposed to be. I haven't been hungry for years. My stomach has not growled in years, which is the strangest feeling to now all of a sudden feel your stomach growl when it's supposed to, when you're hungry and your stomach growls. So um, it, it's a great feeling because then I know I'm actually hungry, but um, it is, uh, it's, it's hungry now when it's supposed to be hungry, which is awesome. So that clearly means to me that all these things in my body are repairing themselves. And I was telling a friend just now, um, I have one more thing that's cleared up, but I'm going to tell you this real quick. I have a friend just now that I was telling her um, that my functional medicine doctor wants me to do this uh, detox protocol. And I'm a little nervous because I feel so good. I don't want to add anything to what I'm doing. I kind of just want to let my body do its own thing. So we'll see. Um, my hair is still falling out really bad only because of my anesthesia, I think. It feels good, but it's falling out still um, because I've been put under so much this year, um, especially in the last six months. So I'm going to give it some grace and give it some time. Um, but the last thing is um, the rash on my arms and legs is going away. So I kept thinking it was because of keto. That Not keto, sorry, I was talking to my friend about keto, about um, gluten. So I thought that my rash on the back of my legs and my arms was from gluten, but clearly it was from my um, 
whatever was wrong, my autoimmune, whatever was freaking out. I don't really know what the problem was, but um, it's going away. When I finally got to take a real bath last night, like a real person, um, it it um, is, is clearing up. It's taking some time because obviously all that stuff has to take its time to clear up and my body's not going to get better overnight. But um, it's it's been really nice to see all the tiny little changes that means my body is functioning normal again. And so I told John the other night, um, I guess it was two nights ago, that I feel like my body needed this. That it... God knew what I needed when he kept putting this in my radar uh, that I needed to look into this and I needed to see what was up and um, and it's worked. It's it's totally uh, making me better, I guess. Uh, so I'll go back and have my kidneys checked eventually um, and I'll have all my blood work redone. I still have some metal that I have to detox. I had 10 toxicity and so I'll have some metal I have to detox and get my gut flora back to normal. It is all out of whack. My hormones are coming back, I can tell. I won't go into why I know that, but I know that. <laughs> um, and so it's just been a really nice feeling that everything is starting to function like a normal body again, like it did years ago again. And um, that hopefully I'm going to be fine, that I'm going to um, continue to feel even better as my body detoxes all these things that were hanging on uh, from autoimmune. Oh, my throat is not swollen anymore. That was the other thing I wanted to tell y'all. So I know a, a lot of people suffer from Hashimoto's, um, especially when they have implants. And um, my throat was swollen all the time. Water took a long time to go down. So everything I ate would take a while to go down. I could feel it going down. Water would get stuck when it was really inflamed because of something I had eaten or something I had done. And it's not. I can eat like normal. I can drink like normal. It doesn't feel swollen. It doesn't hurt to touch. Um, so I didn't have full-blown Hashimoto's. And I'll tell you why I don't think I had full-blown anything was because I still worked out and I still ate healthy because I knew eating bad made me swell so bad and made me feel so bad um, that I knew I had to eat good. So I think that's why I didn't have, I had borderline everything. Um, and so now that my inflammation is going down and everything is calming down and everything's going back to normal, my throat is not swollen anymore. Um, it doesn't sound hoarse anymore. Um, it doesn't feel thick. And, and like I said, it doesn't hurt to touch. So that means my thyroid is going back to normal. So anyway, I just wanted to update y'all um, being that it is one week post-op, uh, like I said, I'm wearing a super tight sports bra because you have to wear one that feels like a really nice hug. So mine is hugging, um, uh, because you don't want those pockets to move around and, and create inflammation and fluid in there. And, um, then, sorry, there's a bug in here. And, uh, then, um, I'll go back in two weeks, but I'm healing really well. Um, I feel really good and I'm just ready to continue moving forward. So anyway, I hope y'all have a good Friday. Thanks for everybody who listened and um, I'll see you later.